Hey, what's up everyone? Thank you for joining me for our roster update video. We're only a week out from the next roster update and there are some things have changed and there's some great investments to you should be getting into now. So let's get into it. Our first upgrade of the week is going to be Yandy Diaz. He's been doing absolutely amazing over the past few weeks and just the season as a whole. Year to date, look at these stats right here. 327, 432, 606, 1038 OPS. He's currently a 78 overall he's most certainly going to get upgraded right now he's you can buy him for 552 or you can sell him for 663 i think it's a good idea to get in on this now because i think he's gonna get upgraded above an 80 at least to an 81 to get that 600 value here it's pretty much a non-risk at this point so i think you should invest in yandy diaz right now especially because his numbers are so low especially in the power department and as you can see he's been having quite a bit of pop so i'm expecting these things to raise up jump on yandy diaz next on our list is max muncie he's been absolutely tearing the cover off the ball mostly in terms of his power especially his home runs he actually only has 13 extra base hits but 12 of them are dingers and he's getting on base at a ridiculous quick clip uh he's got 24 walks already but let's go over his stats real quickly 239 so you're not going to expect much out of his contacts that's okay Although you might get an upgrade at right-hand pitching and a downgrade at left-handed pitching. Overall, he's going to get absolutely killing right-handed pitching right now. And his numbers should be going out through the roof. We're going to just read his overall slash line at 239, 398, 641, 1039. And if we click on uh, Max Maximus over here, you can see his contacts are both very low. I'm expecting right to jump up. And left should probably dr drop down a little bit. Power numbers against both should go up as well because the sluggings are high. Actually, now I'm looking at it. Power versus left should go down, but power against right should absolutely skyrocket. Definitely hop on Max Muncy. I believe he's going to be going uh, gold this time around. Max's former teammate, Cody Bellinger, is absolutely having a resurgence of a season, getting back into his MVP-type form, or maybe close to his Rookie of the Year form. That's okay. A fantastic season. If you look at how much he's going for right now, he's a pretty good investment since he has pretty good defense, decent speed. He might be a... He, card that is be able to upgrade to a diamond at some point and he's going over a little over quick sale for 81 overall which he may actually get to he's slashing 299 369 570 with a 939 ops but he's absolutely been fantastic the last 15 games and absolutely crushing lefties which is very interesting you can see his numbers on the board feel free to pause at anytime if you want to take a look at these statistics quick little thing if you're enjoying the video please do me a big favor click that like button leave me some comments and think about leaving me a subscription videos like this take some time to do so all the support on the video is much appreciated let's continue with the video Corbin Carroll's having an absolutely fantastic start of the year for the Arizona Diamondbacks. He's hitting 313 with a 376 on base percentage, 535 slugging, and a 911 OPS. His last 15 games, a 1060 OPS. And once again, you need to pause. You want to look at the stats really quickly? Go. Just give a little pause. But he's doing absolutely amazing things to already go with his good defense and his fantastic speed. At a good price point right now, I'd say get on this card because he's definitely going to get upgraded and he's a little over quick sell value right now on a gold. You can also see how low his attributes are, so there's so much room for growth here. Hop on this card now. Masataka Yoshida is also absolutely destroying the ball. He had a little bit of a slow start this year, but he's been absolutely on a torrid pace recently. He has a 317 batting average, 400 on base, 548 slugging, and a 948 OPS. In the last 15 games, he has a whopping 1186 OPS, absolutely destroying the ball, and his splits against both are very good. His price point right now is a little high. So you may want to wait on this one. Wait for him to come down. I'm not so sure I'd want to invest on this one because you may not see the return of this investment for a few weeks. So if you want to get him and hold on to him because you think he's going to do amazing things, that's absolutely uh, an option. But I would say hold off on him if you don't already have him. But you look at his attributes across the board. They're super low. So he's going to get... Uh, upgraded across the board here is just doing amazing amazing things all right we got Luis Arias who's been having a fantastic start to the year such a great contact hitter you're seeing this come back in the game I think it's good to see some variety in the way that 
players are able to score some runs here and contribute to their team. But let's get into the statistics here. He's got a 424 batting average, a 482 on base, 535 slugging, and a 1017 OPS. I felt last update they probably should have upgraded him to a gold. They didn't, so I'm expecting a bigger upgrade this time than previously. Now, his price points here aren't amazing, but if he's able to get big contact boosts, especially against left-handed pitching here, then I think he might go up to like an 82 overall, which would make this worth your while because you'll be still making at least 100 stops. And who knows, the possibilities of going up to a diamond at some point if he keeps hitting, you know, 400 for the entire year. Look at his attributes here. Contact's good against right. Contact against left is going to get a big boost. Not going to get much power bumps here, to be honest. He doesn't really have much extra base pop here. Maybe a little bit against right, but nothing against left. His vision has been fantastic, so that's already great. His clutch, maybe they'll touch that. I don't really know how they're updating clutch this year. I don't think it's just runners in scoring position in terms of what they're looking at or how fast they're going to do that. So I'm going to just try to ignore runners in scoring position stats until a few more updates so we can see if they're actually going to use that like that. But I would say he's a decent price point to come in uh, right now. Randy Rosarena has been coming in hot the last 15 games. His year totals are fantastic as well. 325, 391, 590, 981 OPS. He usually hits lefties pretty well, as you can see by his attributes right here, but he's actually hitting righties pretty decently too, especially in terms of uh, slugging percentage here. So I do think that he's going to get a bump to his power. Not so sure about the contact, but definitely to his power. Uh, left is pretty good here, but he should get a nice bump at the very least to to the power, but I think he's going to get a bump to his contact against left as well. He's a, an okay defender um, in terms of his speed and his arm. They have him as a common defender, which I think that's going to change at some point during this year. But regardless of that, I do think he's going to easily be upgraded to a gold, probably at least an 81 with the plus four teams that they have here. He's getting to an 81. So I think he's going to get to at least an 81, possibly an 82. And currently his price point is a little high. So I understand if you don't want to come in at this, but I do expect him to go gold. All right, here we got Jonah Heim, the switch hitting catcher from the Texas Rangers, doing absolutely fantastic things from a switch hitting catcher, hitting 294, 371 on base, 588 slug, and a 959 OPS. His last 15 games, he's an OPS of 11. Oh, two. Those are video game numbers. Mainly, he's crushing left-handed pitching this year with a 1.194 OPS against them. Uh, this card also has fantastic defense, so he's going to get upgraded quite easily. His price point here is in between a quick sell of an 80 and an 81. I would say jump on this card right now because it won't take much to upgrade this card. And if you look, because if you look at his, his, his attributes here, they aren't very good. His contact against right is a 48. He should get a bump there. His contact against left should get a huge uh, bump. His power against both should also get nice jumps. So I'm expecting this card to be pretty darn good, like maybe one more update away from becoming diamond. Jump on Jonah Heim now. Jorge Mateo, I believe, is going to go diamond this week. These stats for the year have been fantastic. His last week has been a little slow, but overall, he's been really, really great. Hitting 321, 372, 595 slug and 967 OPS. His last 15 games, he has a 1062 OPS. And we can't sneeze at the 11 steals to two caught. That's a fantastic, fantastic uh, steal attempt ratio, a successful ratio, I should say. I believe it's at 82%. Pretty darn good. And if you look at his right left handed uh, splits, they are nearly identical in terms of production. I think you should hop on him because I would be shocked if he doesn't go diamond, mainly because when you look at his attributes, he's got fantastic fielding and speed. So that should bump up his overall. And if you look at his, his hitting attributes here, he has so much room to improve. It's just going to go up across the board. I think he should be an easy uh, 85 after the first month that this kid is having. What can we say about the Braves catcher? He's absolutely killing it, leading the league in OPS. Yes, I said that correctly. Leading the league in OPS with a 1065. He's hitting 287, 437, 628 slug, and a 1065 OPS. Last 15 games, he's actually performing a little bit worse than his year to date at 10. 37 OPS. His right and left splits, he's obviously much better against lefties in terms of batting average, but everything else is pretty darn close. He's absolutely killing the ball. I expect Murphy to go 
diamond this week. He's got plus 12s here, and he's going up to an 84. He may even go up to like an 86 overall because he's been that amazing. Hop on this card now because he's not going for that much, and you can make massive gains here because I'd be shocked if this card does not go diamond. Buy him now. That's right. We got Shohei Otani on the list, but not for his pitching. Or is hitting. He's been doing absolutely disgusting things here. I think his pitching is going to... That might get an upgrade as well because his per nines are absolutely fantastic. But right now, we're actually... His price point's really high too. So I wouldn't be getting Shohei to flip Shohei or to sell him afterwards. But if you don't have the card, I think you might want to get him now because he's going to probably increase because he might go up to a 97 or a 98, even a 99 after this. We look at his attributes. We look at his hitting attributes here. They don't quite match up, especially in the contact department. I'm expecting, actually, against left, that might stay about the same, but his contact against right is most certainly going to go up, and his power against both should probably go up as well. He's got really good slugging numbers. I think he won't get massive increases here, but he will get increases more or less across the board that should bump up his overall, make him that much more valuable, and uh, I think it's very possible he gets upgraded once again to maybe a 97 or a 98. So if you don't have Shohei, get him sooner than later. Uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. actually got very lucky and pulled him yesterday. And I actually pulled Mike Trout on the companion app this morning. Which I had that recorded. But uh, that was fun. Helped me with my investing uh, today. But let's look at uh, Ronald Acuna right here. He's absolutely killing it this year with a 355 batting average. 445 on base. A 589 slug. And a 1034 OPS. The big thing that's standing out here is obviously his contact against both right here has been absolutely amazing. His power numbers aren't as good as they usually are, but overall slugging is still really, really good. He's got a ton, a ton of doubles, but uh, and I think his speed is back up too. I, so I don't know if they're going to update that. They don't tend to touch that as quickly, but he's been stealing bases at a crazy clip. 15 steals to two caught stealings. It's pretty... Uh, pretty impressive his price point right now again you can't really flip this card and he's not going to be gaining any quick sell value but if this card gets upgraded into the 90s overall this card is going to be probably one of the few cards that actually does increase in price over time i would say him or tatis if those two cards get uh updated at any point get upgraded to a, a high diamond 90 or plus they're going to get pretty expensive because they're five tool kind of players so if you don't have acuna I do think you should jump on him right now because looking at these attributes, comparing these stats, they're going to go up quite a bit. And I'd be surprised if he doesn't go up to at least like, look, he's got plus 12s right here and he's going up to a 91 overall. So honestly, I'd be shocked if he's not a 91 or a 92 by the end of it. He may even be ranked higher than Trout at the end of this uh, update. Sonny Gray has absolutely filthy numbers right now and he's going for a little over quick sell right now for an 84 gold that would be the absolute minimum i'd see him being upgraded to based upon his whip mainly um but truth be told is that i'd be shocked if this card does not go to at least an 85 overall which would pretty much be doubling your stubs if you invest on that via quick sale It'd be double your subs if you were to quick sell the card i think you need to jump on that i have over 100 sunny grays right now uh, that's how confident I am that he is going to go diamond. And if he doesn't go diamond, you're not losing anything. Most of the ones I bought were at like 900 price point. But even here, I think it's still pretty good to get in because I'd be shocked if he doesn't go to an 85 overall with a .77 ERA. And I know that doesn't directly correlate with anything, but a 1.06 whip. He's got 41 Ks and I believe 35 innings pitch and he's given up no home runs. There's lots of room for growth for him. I think his walks per nine are going to probably stay about the same. Same thing with his control. But I think he's going to go up across the board other than that. So hop on Sonny Gray. I think he's an easy way to make stubs right now. Last and certainly not least is Zach Gallen. I've been investing in Zach Gallen in a while now. I had Zach Gallen's pretty much from 2000. I was putting in orders to buy for 2000. And I have about 100 Zach Gallen's right now. He did have a rough start his last time out. I'm not too worried about that though. It was in Texas and I think it was like one big inning. It's not a big deal. His overall per nines are still amazing. He's got way over nine strikeouts per uh, way over a strikeout per per inning. He's only given up two home runs. He's not walking anybody. He's not giving up many hits. He only has a whip of .85. I don't even care about the 2.53 ERA because it doesn't affect it directly affect the attributes of the players. I'd be shocked if Zach Allen does not get upgraded to an, at least an 87, but possibly all the way up to a 90, just based on how amazing his whip has been, as well as his strikeouts per nine.
All right, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you found it entertaining. If you did, please do me a huge favor. Click that like button. Leave me some comments. I want to know, are there some cards that you think I missed? Now, there are a bunch of cards, even some that I went over last week, where I spoke about I think they might be getting to gold, like Brandon Marr, some of the other bronze cards that possibly can go to gold, some other bronze or commons that are doing amazing right now. I just don't think you can make much stubs on them right now, so I don't really just think there's much point of doing a whole video on some of those guys. But if you would like to see a video on future investments for maybe looking forward till the next roster update, let me know. I have tons of people that I can talk about on that as well that I think that will have a good chance of going silver this week and then gold the following week if they just keep it up. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.